Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. I think many of us have already missed the sea and the beach and I decided to create a tutorial and show you how to draw a summer landscape with photo frame in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Ok guys, let's start our tutorial, select the help of this tool, this color and rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle this way, it's the sand. Now select this color and again rectangle tool and draw one more rectangle, it's the sea and send to back. Now select this pink color and egg and rectangle tool and draw the sky like this and send to back. Now select this color and pen tool and draw the line this way. Ok. Now select direct selection tool and select these two points. And now you need to round these corners. Ok. Now select the C and black and white gradient. Here we need this color and here this one. Here minus 90. And move the slider a little like this. Now select this color and ellipse tool and let's draw the clouds. Hold shift and draw the first circle this way ok now create one more ellipse here ok like this now select pen tool and you need to add here this shape to close the empty place. Select all shapes, these shapes and Pathfinder Unite. Now select the clouds and the sky and send them to back. Copy and paste the background, select the clouds and Pathfinder intersect. Okay. Now select this color and ellipse tool and again draw free rectangle. It's our back clouds. Select them and Pathfinder Unite, select the sky and clouds and send them back. Select these clouds, select this gradient and here we need this color and here pink and here 70. Great. Uh, now select this color and pen tool and 
and let's draw here these shapes to make our sea more realistic. Okay, now select this color and add more shapes. Okay guys, if you made uh, the mistake, you can fix it with the help of direct, direct selection tool, like this. Now, let's continue. Here, add one more shape. And let's select this light color and add here one more shape. And here. And uh, we need to add one shape here, the same color, and the last one here. Okay, uh, now let's draw the sun, select ellipse tool and create ellipse uh, 150 to 150 move here now object path offset path and here 15 and other options are the same and here 20 and again path offset path and the same options and again path, offset path, and the same options. Okay, now I think we can select the sun and uh, let's make it a little bigger. It will be looks more better. This way. Okay, now uh, let's create the mountains. Select this color and star tool and create the star 100 to 50 and 3. And put here our first mountain. Now select that color and pen tool. And here we need to draw like uh, the shadow. this way. You see it became more realistic. Now copy and move sorry, this mountain closer to the sky, uh, to the clouds and copy and paste the mountain and move here the copy and you need to send this mountain and sky to the back. Again, paste the copy of the mountain, move it here, this way, and send the sky and the mountain back. Move this mountain a little closer like this. Now select the sky and copy and paste it and select this mountain and uh, intersect, Pathfinder intersect. Now select all mountains, these dark shapes, and copy and paste them, and Pathfinder Unite. Now move them here, and select them and make them bigger like this. Now move them and the sky 
to the back, select this shape and make dark pink. Now select the sun and make move it, I think, here. Yeah, it will be better. Okay. Now uh, let's draw the palm. Select this color and pen tool and draw the shape like this. Okay, now select this anchor point and move it a little up, like this. Uh, now select this dark brown color and egg and pen tool and let's draw the leaf of the palm. Create this line and now you need to make like zigzag. this way and the last one like this okay now it's ready select it and move here make it a little smaller like this and turn it make it smaller and put here now select it and transform reflect vertical or copy and move the copy of the leaf here now select this leaf copy and paste it turn it like this make it a little smaller and again transform reflect vertical copy and move here Okay, you need to play a little with leaves to have you you like. Copy and paste this one and put here, make smaller and turn it this way. Okay, now transform, reflect, vertical, copy and move the copy here okay now let's move the leaves okay Okay, great. Now select all leaves and just turn it, turn them this way. Let's look closer. You can add them a little like this. Now select this leaf, make it smaller and the same here. Okay, now select all shapes of the palm and group them. Now copy and paste the palm, make it smaller and make it a little bigger and put here. Okay. Uh, now select the whole landscape, group it and make it smaller this way. Okay, now select this color and rectangle tool and draw the rectangle a little bigger than our landscape and send to back. Okay, uh, make it more bigger 
select the landscape and the shape and align them. Okay, now select uh, their, this green color and rectangle tool and draw the rectangle this size and send it to back. Now if you have some unperfect shapes here, you can create clipping mask. Select the rectangle tool and draw the rectangle a little smaller than the landscape and select the landscape and the new rectangle and right click and make clipping mask and again align the photo. Now select this shape, effect, uh, distort and transform and zigzag. And select uh, here smooth and you need to move this slider and this slider to create the form of the photo frame. I think now it's great. Uh, okay. Object, expand appearance. Uh, now select the photo frame, copy and paste it, and send the copy backward. Move a little right and a little down, and select this color and opacity multiply. Okay. Now select this color and create rectangle tool. and turn it, put here, now make it a little longer and fatter and here let's play with opacity ok, I think it's not bad, 30 Mm, no, select the shapes and make them 45. Yes, it's better. Now select this shape and make it a little longer. Now select all shapes without background. Okay, and make the photo frame a little smaller, this way. Ok guys, our summer landscape with photo frame is ready! Well guys, that's all for today, hope you like my tutorial, if yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos in a graphic design. Bye bye guys! Mwah.